wanted to show you where I'm getting all my kingfisher photos. We've got a group of four adolescent kingfishers, uh, probably just hatched this year, and uh, you know they're a little smaller and they're eating uh, a lot more than what's normal for a kingfisher. So from that, I've, I've deduced that they're growing. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you one here uh, using this little tiny camera, and uh, it's 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 been a blast. About a total of eight hours. I've just sat here in the truck or under a ghillie suit down lower by the bank uh, working on uh, kingfishers diving into the water and exploding out and, and you know with their minnows. Uh, it's, it's been a lot of fun. This is how you can tell they're adolescents. Adult kingfishers would never tolerate another kingfisher on the same railing or branch as them. Even mates are territorial against each other. I've seen it tons of times in the spring. These two females are hanging out together. There's a water snake. For a very long time, I've been wanting a photo of a kingfisher in its dive, seconds before it hits the water, complete with a reflection. And today's going to be the day that I get it. It's day two and about hour six, and I haven't been able to pan fast enough to get the dive yet that I want. Great Egret distracts me for a little bit, and I get a couple of really cool dark photos of that, just at dawn. The doe came walking down the road on the other side of my truck. She had a fawn. Little minor distractions, and then right back to the kingfishers. Caught that dive on the tiny camera. Just not having any luck swinging that big lens fast enough. That one was really far away. Nice dive photo into some rocks, but it just wasn't quite what I wanted. I had no problem catching them exploding out of the water. That was pretty easy. You know, by the time I get the camera panned over there, they're already coming out of the water. I got so many photos of kingfishers exploding out of the water. There's another one. Getting that dive is tough, so how do you do it? Well, it's all gonna be about shutter speed. This is a very fast bird. You're gonna wanna be at one thirty-two hundredths of a second to one five thousandth of a second. I wouldn't go any higher than one five thousandth of a second because I feel once you get faster than that, you're losing image quality. You can always adjust your aperture or ISO once you're at 5,000 to dial in the lighter, right? Normally I'm not going to want to photograph kingfishers when they're on a railing like this because I'm going to want my photos to look more natural on a branch or something. I got a video from last year where I talk about how to get a kingfisher to land on the branch that you want it to land on. But today was all about getting them to dive and since I had four of them all hanging out in the same place, I didn't care if they were on a railing or not because these are the photos that I wanted. I wanted the action shots. All right, so we were at F4, 13200 to 1 5,000th of a second. ISO was uh, anywhere from 3,600 at dawn, and I think I got all the way down to uh, 640, 400, something like that. She's in the Canon R5, 600 millimeter F4 lens. I used a tripod some of the time and a beanbag the rest of the time. I got some cool shots like that one coming in hot to the railing, like this one exploding out of the water with that nictating membrane closed. It's very cool shots, good detail. Got a close drip dry flyby, that was pretty cool. And then finally, when the light was just right, I nailed the shot that I've always wanted. I can't wait to frame it. And then he falls flat on his face for the comical shot at the end. Thank you very much. Please like and subscribe.